Hi there, and welcome to another PenCast for the course Reasoning and Logic. This one covers an older exam question, and it is about the limitations of propositional logic. There's four arguments here, and the question asks us which one can we not express using propositional logic. So let's tackle them one by one. Now in the first one, notice that the phrase all humans are mortal is repeated twice, as is Socrates is mortal. So, in this case, if we just introduce the letters P and Q for these phrases, what do we get? We get P, P implies Q, therefore Q. Well, this is a valid argument, so this seems to work out. What about the second one? Plato is mortal, that occurs twice, we can call that P, ah, and then not P also occurs once, okay, great. So we've got P, P, and not P. And then Socrates is mortal. That occurs twice. We'll call that Q. So what do we have over here? We get if P, then Q. Q, therefore P or not P. Well, we don't need this whole Q business, but this argument is still valid. So it seems that the validity of this argument can be kept even when translating it to just propositional logic. What about the third one? If Plato is mortal, Plato is mortal, okay. Uh, we've got the negative of that, so P and not P, and then all humans are mortal, we've got that twice as well, uh, once in its positive and once in its negative form, so Q and not Q, and then we have Plato is human, ah, uh, so we'll have to call that R, because we didn't have that yet. So what do we get then? Well, we get P implies Q, R and not P, therefore not Q, but that doesn't work. This is a translation that loses the validity of the argument. We have this weird thing R in there suddenly. So, this we cannot translate, just the propositional logic. For this one, we'll need a bit more. We'll need to actually define these properties of Plato, so that we can say something about humanity in general. So, there we go. C is the right answer. But let's take a look at D anyway. If not all humans are mortal, then there is a human who is mortal. Not all humans are mortal. There is a human who is more immortal. Hang on. Those two statements are equivalent, aren't they? They mean exactly the same thing. Ah, but that's great. That means we can just represent this whole phrase as P. So we get P implies P, P, therefore P. Ah, well, that's a valid argument, uh, even in propositional logic. So that will work out. So only C we cannot translate. I hope that clarifies things a bit, and I'll see you around in the next one.